In this lesson, we can learn about the ranking order based on height, weight, etc. In order to understand this type of problem, let's take a discussion like this. There is four people named as A, B, C and D. And the corresponding height are given as 157 cm, 148 cm, 134 cm and 121 cm. So, first of all, arranging them in height order will be like this. As A is first, then B, then C and D. From this picture, we can say that A is tallest one or A is taller than B, C and D. What about B? Is the second highest one or taller than C and D but shorter than A? As the same, C is the second smallest which is taller than D and shorter than both A and B. And D is the smallest among all which is shorter than A, B and C. How it can be written in ascending order as well as descending order? In ascending order, first will be the smallest one and moving into right side as the height is increasing, it will be like this. D less than, C less than, B less than, A. And descending order, the highest or tallest one will be at first. Then smallest or shortest one will be at last, like this. A greater than B, greater than C, greater than D. We can say that in descending order, the position of A is the first, B will be second, C will be third and D will be fourth position. Whereas in descending order, D will be the first, C is the second, B is the third and A is the last one. These are the basic concepts you should know before going to the problems. Understand each concept more carefully. You can do any problem with less time by drawing their relative height and make an order. Let's start with first problem. Kiran is taller than Samir but shorter than Pramod. John is taller than Urmila. Samir is taller than Jor, who is the tallest in the group. That is a type of problem in ranking test based on height order. So the basic concept you have to understand this, read carefully and draw a pictorial representation based on the given sentence. Start with first sentence, Kiran is taller than Samir. It means Kiran have height higher than Samir. It can be drawn like this. Where Kiran line is higher than Samir indicating more height. So the next sentence will be Kiran is shorter than Pramod which means Pramod have a higher height than Kiran. It can be drawn like this. Take the next one John is taller than Umila but in this sentence we cannot draw John and Umila. So the next one as Samir is taller than John so the John have less height compared to Samir. Now take the third sentence, John is taller than Umila, so the Umila have less height compared to John, we'll draw like this. Now we get the corresponding height order is, Pramod greater than Kiran, greater than Samil, greater than John, greater than Umila. And the question is, who is the tallest in the group, observing to the figure, we can easily say that the tallest one among the group is Pramod and the shortest one is Urmila. Let's take another problem. Mukesh is taller than Rajiv but shorter than Vijay. Suman is taller than Vijay but shorter than Amar. Let's take each sentence and draw corresponding lines. So first Mukesh is taller than Rajiv. So Mukesh have more height than Rajiv can draw like this but Mukesh is shorter than Vijay which means Vijay have more height than Mukesh can draw like this let's take the next sentence Suman is taller than Vijay so Suman have more height than Vijay will come like this Suman is shorter than Amar, so Amar have more height than Suman. We can draw like this. Let's take the first question. Who is the tallest? 
from the diagram, Amr is the tallest one among all. Number 2. If all are asked to stand in descending order according to height, who would be in fourth place? So, the descending order will be Amar greater than Suman, greater than Vijay, greater than Mugesh, greater than Rajiv. Counting from Amar, the fourth place will be Mugesh. Number 3. In the ascending order of height, who stand next to Vijay? So, the ascending order will be Rajiv less than Mugesh, less than Vijay, less than Suman, less than Amar. So, the person who stands next to Vijay will be Suman. And number 4. Who is the shortest of all? From the diagram, the shortest one is Rajiv and the tallest one is Amar. Number 5. Who are all taller than Vijay? Amar and Suman are taller than Vijay and Mukesh and Rajiv are shorter than Vijay. Let's take another problem. Pune is bigger than Jansi. Sitapur is bigger than Chitur. Rajkar is not as big as Jansi but is bigger than Sitapur, which is the second biggest. Let's start from the first sentence. Pune is bigger than Chansi. That means it will be like this. Let's take the second sentence. Sitapur is bigger than Chitur. Here, we cannot relate them into this figure because both Sitapur and Chitur are not present in the figure, but we can draw a separated order like this. Let's take this third sentence. Rajkar is not as big as Jansi, which means Rajkar is smaller than Jansi, so it will be like this. But bigger than Sitapur means Sitapur is smaller than Rajkar, will be like this. Now, the question is which is the second biggest? It is clear that Pune will be bigger than Jansi, then Rajkot and last is Sitapur. Hence the answer is Jansi. These are the basic problems which related to ranking based on height or weight. Understand and carefully read each sentence and draw its corresponding diagram. You can easily do any tough question.